Well, Khaled El Gindi is a fellow at the Brookings Institution and joins us now from Washington, D.C. Thank you for being with us. Let's just talk about this French magazine for a moment. Um, you know, what one man's satire is another man's offense, and uh, their decision seems to be following along a general trend of just causing offense simply to provoke. I think that's true. I, I think we're likely to see more escalations on both sides. Uh, now that everybody... Uh, sees uh, the kind of reactions that they can get from uh, very simple kinds of uh, activities like posting a, an amateur video on YouTube or publishing a cartoon. Uh, I think we're likely to see more, more of it. You know, the, the, the fact is that the extreme uh, fringes, the provocateurs on, on uh, all sides uh, are the ones who seem to be gaining in all of this. But what is the more egregious crime here? Is it the provocation or the response? Well, I think there are excesses on all sides. I mean, none of this is, uh, I mean, it shouldn't really come as a surprise. I think there were very clearly, uh, there was an overreaction that happened in, uh, in certain Muslim circles around the world. Uh, by no means a majority of Muslims, certainly, but it only takes a handful of people or a few hundred of people to do a great deal of damage. Uh, the, the individuals who stormed the U.S. Embassy in Cairo, I think, fall into that category, um, uh, as well as uh, the, those who attacked the American Embassy in Sana'a and, and, and other places as well, or that committed violence. It mm. only takes a handful of people to do that kind of damage. But while, while, while you've got so, uh, so much criticism being leveled <laughs> at, at uh, the, the French magazine and uh, the people who made the film, the man who first publicized the film, the Egyptian television right. presenter, uh, is not getting similar treatment. I mean, shouldn't he be just as responsible for the response uh, as anybody else? I, I, would, I would think so. Of course, you know, this is the problem with these kinds of uh, activities like the prosecutions that are happening against uh, the alleged you know, people who allegedly made this film. Um, you know, Egypt is a country where that is in transition. Um, it, it is uh, trying to reform its institutions. It's not a country with a strong history uh, of uh, respect for the rule of law. Uh, and so undertaking these kinds of things uh, in this environment, I think, is very risky. The uh, decision by the Egyptian prosecutors to, to launch this action in itself could be seen as a provocation. Is that likely to uh, lead to, A, anything particularly useful in legal terms, uh, and B, is it likely to actually cause more, pour more fuel on this fire? Oh, absolutely. And, 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 and uh, I think that is what it's uh, intended to do. I, I, I think um, not necessarily to pour uh, fuel on the fire, but at this stage, it's clear that we are well beyond the, uh, the initial moment of, of outrage. You know, we're a week into this uh, dynamic now. And so this is right now, when it reaches the political level and the legal uh, level, this is being stoked and, and, uh, and pushed as a, exploited as a political issue uh, in Egypt, certainly, right. and also elsewhere. Is it, and that's likely to trigger the same on the other, en on the other end. Yeah, you say elsewhere. I was going to say, is it not being exploited just as much in the United States by the Islamophobes who consistently sure. try to portray uh, the Muslims as being hotheads and, and uncontrollable? Right, and, and it's exactly the irony of, of all of this is that it's these two fringes that feed off of one another. You have the Islamophobes who will uh, say, I told you so, look at the, the, the crazy reaction uh, and the killing of an American ambassador and the, uh, the uh, attack on our uh, embassies. Um, this is exactly what we've been telling you. We were right all along. And then you have the extremist uh, Islamists who are saying the same thing. See, these people hate our religion. Um, it's pure, unadulterated. Uh, hate. There is no intellectual value in, in their critiques. It's just unbridled hatred. And that's also true. But they're both feeding uh, into each other's narratives. And so it works for them. It doesn't necessarily work for the rest of us, but it works for those two fringes. All right. Khaled El Gindi in Washington, D.C. Thanks for your comments.